Beanie here at San Diego Comic Con, and tonight I'm asking the question, do celebrities geek out over the same people that we geek out over? Let's find out. Have you ever met somebody in a hallway backstage during an interview on a carpet that you just genuinely geeked out over meeting? Uh, absolutely, yes. That was uh, Mark Hamill and William Shatner, you know, those are like the guys that, yeah, the legends. My, my first Comic Con, uh, Chris Claremont, uh, Dave Cockrum doing the X-Men, uh, George Perez, Marv Wolfman doing the Titans. I mean, that was a big deal to me. Frank Miller, Frank Miller was here. I mean, come on, dude. I was here one year, had my son and my wife. We're looking at all the Batman cars, and Henry Winkler walks by the Fonz. <laughs> and I'm an old school dude. So I'm like, yo, hold on. I had to stop my son, stop my wife, go over, throw my thumbs up to the Fonz, and I thought that was a cool day for me, yo. The guy who does Cleveland, the voice for Cleveland Brown, I met this guy, and I geeked off Did of you that. do an impression for him? No, he would start talking to me in that guy's voice. He immediately started, it was funny. Richard Taylor, the CEO and founder, or co-founder, I believe, of the Weta Workshop. I, I geeked out over the behind the scenes for Lord of the Rings. There was a while when I had the, the extended DVDs. Every time I ate lunch or dinner, I would go in front of my computer and watch 20 minutes again. We ran into Brian Cranston and Bob Odenkirk from Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. And like, we didn't get to really talk very long, but like, just being around those guys, it was like, this is crazy. No, you do me, you do me. Oh, okay, okay. okay. One time at Comic-Con, I, I had a couple drinks and I tripped over Sebastian Stan's foot in a bathroom. Reese Witherspoon. Okay. And I cried. <laughs> it's funny, the first time I met Common, like I, I was in this, do you know Common, the rapper oh, and actor? Oh, yeah. Common. So, I, Come on, man. I, like, I'm just I'm just checking. <laughs> every single time Stan Lee makes me feel goofy. I get excited about every superhero person that's here. All of them. All like of them. literally. All of them. I saw Ezra Miller and we exchanged a few glances. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Literally just happened in this line with Ezra Miller. I don't know if he's still over here, but like, yeah, I, I love Ezra Miller and everything he's ever done, and I was just completely starstruck. I was like, hey, what's up? I, I was geeking um, out when I saw Patrick Wilson. Okay, oh, uh, Ocean yeah. Master. I saw Jason Momoa from like a thousand yards away. <laughs> Climb him like a tree. <laughs> Live in his beard. <laughs> I, I met Will Smith when I was like 20. Two. And he's like, like the coolest dude in the world. Like that. So there was that. I saw Kat Graham, and I think she's from Vampire Diaries. But I I haven't seen her since I was 13. Like we used to be childhood friends, and that was a real shock to me. I mean, I guess it's not the same. I'm not answering your question, but that was the moment where I was like, "You're you. I'm me. Remember from childhood." Nas. Okay. All right. Hey, man. Nas. That's and, and and I always tell this story because Nas was at the time married to someone that I knew and um, I saw them both, I was excited to see them both and we all group hugged. And I, I fancy myself as someone cool and I wasn't very cool when I met Nas and, and, and asking them to, we did group hug though, we all group hugged. So that was a nice moment. But I hope he was like Coach Carter. I didn't feel cool. I was like, I messed that up. Shatner. Shatner. Passing in a hallway after like panels and whatnot, just like hey, I, and he just had it in his eyes of like yes, I know I'm God. Yeah. 